Well, here I am again, Richard B. Blanchard, Jr., Gardner High School, class of 1938. And this time I am going to try to remember a few other things that I left off in my previous video, which I made a couple of days ago. I made a list this time, and I'm going to read a few items off the list and comment on them. One of the things was our graduation party, which you probably remember was held up in Winston at the Toy Town Tavern. They call that the Toy Town Tavern, although it's a, it's a sort of a big hotel or something, I believe. Anyway, we had our graduation party there, and I went alone, stag, and, uh, uh, but I, I went home, I took a girl home, Betty Alexander. And that reminds me of another story. <laughs> Betty, during the, during the uh, Depression times, of course, we, well, us boys used to take whatever jobs we could get. I mowed a lot of lawns around Gardner. I used to mow Betty Alexander's lawn, uh, front and back, and trim the edges, all for 35 cents. And uh, Betty took a liking to me, I guess, because she used to go out in the backyard when I was mowing and sort of walk up and down with a lawnmower. Well, anyway, I met her at the party and, and uh, gave her a ride home after the uh, graduation. So, so much for Toy Town Tavern. It was a nice time, though, and I bet a lot of, I bet everybody remembers that. You always remember your graduation party. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention the other day when I talked about the assemblies in the high school auditorium. They had a piano in there, uh, uh, which was a Chickering Concert Grand Bird's Eye Maple. Beautiful piano. My mother used to play on that when she went to Gardner High School, and then I played on this on it too, uh, for just for my own amusement. I wasn't much of a piano player. Uh, Jane Greenwood was the one that could really play. Anyway, today in my house in Escondido, I have a Chickering piano, the same exact model, only it's not bird's eye maple. It's some kind of dark colored wood, but it's it's a. There, it's about an 1835 Concert Grand Chickering. A wonderful piano made in Boston. Okay, now let's see here. Uh, I also mentioned the senior play, which I put a picture of everybody in the cast of the senior play, which I was not in it. But we also put in a, a senior pageant. <clears throat> it was another, another thing not like a play. I'm not sure what a pageant is, but I had a part in it. And I believe it had something to do with religion because one of my, my lines was, uh, um, let's see, something about uh, my brothers hearken to the teachings of the cross. I remember that phrase. I had to say that in that senior pageant. Okay, one more thing I remember about Gardner, and I'm sure this will bring uh, a feeling of nostalgia to everybody else too because remember going downtown in the square and in the winter time, and going into these stores that sold us ice skates, the store had that wonderful leather smell, and we all would go in there and buy our ice skates. And I actually had ice skates, but as I said before, I couldn't take the cold, and I, I didn't do much of any ice skating, but I remember buying those real leather ice skates. I wonder if they have them today, or is everything plastic and made in China? I have no idea. You know, uh, most of the shoes of the United States used to be made over there in Lowell. That was a shoe town, but I guess the, uh, they were, the unions ran them out of business, demanding too much money. The companies moved all their people down south, and finally, oh, now everything's in China. Okay, one more thing I forgot too. When I used to come back from the orchestra job, I would go into the Blue Moon Diner. I'm sure everybody's been in that Blue Moon Diner. It's, a, it's an old landmark. In fact, as I understand, it's now considered a historical treasure, and uh, it's one of the few remaining diners still in existence, and all the, all of the books and things about diners always mention the Blue Moon Diner, which was made out of an actual railroad dining car and parked over there, uh, what's that street there? Main Street, I guess? I, I, I'm trying to remember. I believe that's called Main Street. Anyway, after our orchestra job, when we'd get home from work uh, two or three o'clock in the morning, we'd always stop in the Blue Moon Diner and get pie and ice cream or something before we'd go home. I bet you every one of you 
had been in that Blue Moon Diner. There was another diner in town too, uh, down on Parker Street called the Burns, I believe it was Burns Diner or, I forget, another, another name. But I don't think that one is still here today, I don't know. Now in the high school, we mentioned, uh, or I mentioned, Mr. Bowden and his lecturing class for history. Well, another favorite class was Miss Clark, who taught English. And Miss Clark had the idea to teach you uh, communication skills, etc. She had us do what we called an oral topic. And everybody was supposed to get up in turn and just give us a speech. Just talk extemporaneously to the class. Well, in my case, I would get up there and I, I, they, they liked it when I got up there because I talked all hour and they wouldn't have to. And I never knew when to shut up and the teacher wouldn't stop you. They'd let you go as long as you want. So I'd get up there and do a long oral topic about just about anything. Okay, another, <laughs> another thing you, that I forgot before and I'm sure you all remember this is uh, the superintendent of schools, Fordyce T. Reynolds. Every year at the beginning of the year, he would come into the chemistry class, and I wish I could remember the name of the chemistry teacher. I don't think it was Mr. Dockler or somebody else taught chemistry. But the, the teacher, the first day of school, he would warn us, he would say, Mr. Reynolds is going to come in there, and he's going to pick out some kid and ask them, what color is blue vitriol? And you had to know the right answer. Well, sure enough, uh, after a few days of class, here comes Superintendent Reynolds and he asked somebody what color is blue vitriol. That was a tradition that he did every year uh, for I don't know how long. Um, one other thing we all did, I'll bet you, I'll bet you remember, maybe, maybe they do it to this day. They closed off School Street in the wintertime <clears throat> uh, for no more, no cars allowed because it's kind of steep and icy and everybody would go sledding and tobogganing and etc. And I slid down that school street many times. I bet you have too. And I hope you enjoyed this website. I haven't received any other videos yet, but I'm hoping somebody will send one in to the uh, address. Well, let's see, where would you send it? I guess if you had a video, you could email it to me, or you could uh, uh, well, just let me know you got one, and I'll figure a way to put it on the website, okay? And now I'm Red Blanchard. That's what I've gone by many years. And I say, so long until the next time.